So this is exciting. We're going to actually walk through how to add a help video to a pop-up inside of your Power App. So it'll just be a pop-up that comes up and we're going to walk through this together step by step and then embedded inside of the video you're going to see where you can download this instruction for yourself so you can keep it as a reference. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So the first place we need to go, let's go ahead. I'm going to walk through. I'm going to use these both in tandem because the instructions aren't quite, I mean, they'll guide you along, but it, sometimes it's easier just to have somebody walk through it with you. So we're going to do both of them. So if you just want to see the, the screenshots, you can pause and just do screenshots, but you can download this paper for free, and there's a link embedded inside of this video. So whatever works for you. So let's go ahead and start here with step number one. We're going to notice the circles indicate where we want to go, right? So we want to be inside of Power Apps. We want to go here to the little um, add sign where we can add media. We're going to upload the media and then we're going to select video. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. All right. So that right here. So we're going to have this screen here. Uh, we're going to click on this. Right. And then number three, we're going to hit upload right there. Okay. And then we're going to number four, we're going to find the video itself. So here I put one in here called sample video. So we're just going to click on open. Now remember, you can't load a video and it tells you right here at the bottom, you can't load a video bigger than 64 megabytes in size. So just keep that in mind. So that's good. So we finished first step. Congratulations. That's pretty easy, right? Let's go to the next screen. Now we're going to go to, notice here it says one, which is here. And then we're going to go to app okay which we don't see right now let's go ahead and flip there there's app we're gonna go to app and then three we're gonna go right up here we're gonna go to on start okay so first we've got to click on app and then we're gonna go to on start okay and then we're gonna put in this help video equals false so notice I have because this is kind of my uh, <laughs> my test environment so I'm just gonna do that set remember if it's the first one here, I just hit the tab key, set, and I'm going to say help video, and then a comma, and then I'm going to start typing false. Notice false is the second one down. I can use my arrow keys with my right hand, go down two, and then hit tab. So it just kind of fills things in for you. Okay, and that's what we want. That's what the instruction said to do. So we're going to go do that. Now it says put a uh, semicolon there. We don't need to do that, but we're going to anyways. All right, now it says add to canvas. So here we're gonna go here and we're gonna add this to the canvas itself, the video. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. We're gonna go to that video and we're gonna say add it to canvas. Okay, and there it is. And you can see it, that was easy enough. Okay, one, two, three, four. And number four is to resize the video. Okay, so we're just going to get the video to be big. Alrighty. So we're going to put it like that. Okay. Now, next screen, we're going to go ahead and put in a back arrow. So, so we need a back arrow. So we're going to go back to here, then to screen one. Now, your screen will be a little different depending on what you're working on. But here, I'm working on display tasks. Okay. You could start with a brand new screen, by the way. But here, I'm just going to enter in a label. Um, excuse me. I'm going to hit the screen, which I've got here. Then I'm going to hit insert. And then I'm going to go over to icons and I'm going to put in a back arrow. So I'm going to hit right there. Go there. And I'm going to hit a back arrow, which I think are down towards the bottom. If I remember right. Uh, put in a back arrow. Where are you? Okay. Did you guys see the back arrow? There. Right there. Back arrow. Okay. So now we have the back arrow, okay? We're gonna go down to the next one here and we're going to um, click on that arrow right here, arrow one. We're just gonna down click there, go to reorder and bring to front. That's pretty easy, reorder, bring to front, okay? It's easy. Now we're gonna change the color of the arrow. We can drag it wherever we want it um, and we're gonna change the color of that arrow. So. We're, see how we got the video here? I'm just going to drag it over here. And see how it's hiding there? So I am going to change the color. I'm just going to say white. Okay. That's pretty easy. 
Good. Excellent. So we changed the color. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to here, right? Right here at the screen one. And then we're going to go down to the arrow again. So we're going to click on the arrow. Okay. And then we're going to go to on select, which is selected. And then we're going to say set help video to false. So that's easy. I'm going to go there, there, there. And we're going to say set again, use the tab help video. Use the arrow key tab comma false. And we're going to close. Okay. Let's go back. It's looking pretty easy, right? Okay. Now this gets a little more complicated. Not really, but a little more complicated. What we're going to do here is we're going to stay in here, but notice that we've created uh, the video and the arrow. So we have video one and arrow one, just like it is here. And we're going to group these together. And notice here it says hold down the control key. So we're going to click there once. We're going to press the control key with our pinky. Click there once, keeping the control key down. I haven't said release it yet. Now release the control key. Do a right click and go to group. And there it is right there, group two. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead. Looks like we're going to keep it there as group two. So let's just go ahead and go back up here. But we're going to, we're selected on the group. Notice here, right? Now we're going to say help video. So what that's doing is it's we're setting the visible. It says visible true, meaning that it's always going to be available. But once we change it to help video, it's going to go away. Okay. Good. So far, so good. Okay. Now let's go back to the screen, which is right here. And we're going to insert a help icon. So we're going to click on there. We're going to go to insert. We're going to go to icon. We're going to go to the help. The help one. Sorry, this one. Finding these icons sometimes takes the longest. Um, okay, holler out if you see the question mark. So we're going to go down here. We're going to go down. We're going to find. Where are you, question mark? There you are. Help. Okay. You could use any icon, by the way. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to stick this icon anywhere. Remember, this is just a screen. So we're going to stick it. Let's put it up here in the corner. We could put it anywhere on the screen. Okay, and we're going to place that wherever we want. And now we're going to change the values of that icon. Notice here's my icon here. It says icon 14, it says icon 1 there. But we're going to click down here. We're going to go to on select and we're going to set help video to true. So that's easy enough. Go there, go there. And we're going to say uh, set, whoops, set. And then we're going to say help video. And we're going to say true, whoops. All right. T R U E. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to click there. Let's go back to instructions. Now we're going to reorder that and we're going to send that to the back. And here's the reason why I'm going to show you. But we're going to send it to the back. So we're going to go to that icon we just created, which is icon 14 in this example, and send it to the back. So we don't have to, we can click on the canvas like this if we want, but it's easier for me to explain to you just this way, right? Go to reorder, send to back. And I'm going to move this like right there. Okay. So that's right where the video was, right? So what we don't, if we don't send it to back, what happens is that the icon comes through our pop-up. We don't want that. Okay. And that is it. So that means let's test it. So go ahead and go up to play. We see the help right there. Boom. We run the video. Let's see. Beautiful. we we'll go back. Boom. Now again, remember, we don't see the icon coming through, which is exactly what we want. We can run the video as long as we want, go to full screen, do whatever we want. Now we're done, back, boom, it's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. That's it, there's not much to it outside of that. And then just save your work and publish the app. And then you will have um, a pop-up video that will allow you to um, provide your users with additional help as needed.